what's up everyone welcome back to another f free preset friday this preset is another preset from the fm sounds pack volume one and it is more on the art sequencer side of things even though it is just a lfo moving the wavetable it will change it quite a bit so this is what it sounds like <laughs> Nice cool sound, you could do a lot with it. So let's get right into it and explain it. First of all, it is a wavetable from our FM Sounds Pack, so you guys will have this if you guys decide to purchase it at the link below. And what, what comes in that pack is a bunch of wavetables and presets. We have FM. FM sounds and supercars both for Serum that will be out very soon but for the sake of your free preset today it is going to be this ARP so once I put this in I put the unisons up to 2 detuned it a little bit the blend I turned the random all the way down and the wavetable positions put them up a little bit and the level and then I did FM for B as a macro so I can mess with it. Honestly just automate that and you'll get some cool changes of this. I always like to do stuff like that just so you can keep the same sound throughout the whole entire track and just do little things to spice them up. So once you get that set up, only thing I did was put a direct out all the way over to the far right did the level so it's pumping with it pitched it down two octaves so now you get oscillator B is just it says custom but it's just the stock one and just turn the level off nothing changed as it's just being used for the FMV to get the movement more I put a low 24 on with the cutoff only on a as the sub I mean you could do it on the sub but it's a direct out I didn't want it to be affected by all this Just crank it in. Keep it all the way open. Just a little macro to mess with. And the screamer snapped on here. Yeah, so it's the filter. So that's how we're getting that high ringiness to it. I really love the filters. It really cleans up sounds and even changes them quite a bit. As you can see, that sound was originally really grungy and dirty. You put that on, now it's nice, clean, and high. So that brings us to the effects. Not much on the front side, pretty basic. It's good to have a good solid starting in here. Some, you know, sometimes you get a bigger sound just out of the front end. But most of my sounds come from a nice back end which also gives me more range of moving the sound as you can see I put LFOs on a lot of things to get that movement so I'm going to turn all these off and explain them and turn them on as we go this is what it sounds like with no effects first things first dimension and a little bit of hyper I put the unisons up to five unisons five a little bit of mix the size, I put pretty big on this. I usually do not do it that big. I like to just use small sizes, but on this one, it sounded good with the big one. And I automated the mix with the LFO to get that open pumping movement as, you know, it runs through the LFO. Wides it up right away. Next was distortion. 
I use the Siam, nothing over here, just the drive and mix to taste with LFO. Now with this on, we get a little more aggressive, more drive to the sound. Next is phaser, really minimal, just enough to add a little metallic layer to it. So this is before, after. You really can't tell unless you really listen in. Just a nice metallic, metally, lasery little hint on top of the sound. So I turn the mix all the way up on this one. Feedback, none. Delay, all the way up. Without it. Gives it bigger, a little more movement, stereo, and I just like the little bounce it gives to it. It's nothing too crazy, as you can see when I take my finger off. Just kind of just ending. A little extra tail to it. After that, I went into the multi band, which is, I loved what it does to it. It really gives a different feel to it because it's compressing the frequencies differently instead of just you know a compressor straight across that is why it's a multi-band all I did was to pull the thresh down and the gain up a little bit honestly makes it in most of my patches it's good as is so now let's listen to it before and after so take some of that grittiness away kind of flattens it out in a way I guess easy on the ears. I don't know. I just like it. It sounds good. It's not. It's the same aggressive sound, just tamed. It's not like ripping my ears anymore. Last but not least, EQ. Just to get a little more highs out of there. Really nothing. Boosted it. 4.2 dBs. Wow. That doesn't look like much, but it is much. Okay, so here's the cool part right here, the filter. Okay, it's all the way down. The illusion. And without it, real quick. And with it. It really brings it to life and adds that metal grit to it. I love it. I really love using the filters. Anything in the flangers or the flanges uh, and the misc miscellaneous all great multi they're all great honestly all great start using the filters because that's how you're going to get some of those nice tones and movements when you automate those filters but this is the preset for you guys i am going to save it in dropbox for you guys right now in that folder so you guys know free downloads from youtube free preset friday and this is the ARP Space Jams. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment what you guys want to see in the next videos, and peace.